we have seen an increase in people resorting to violence to solve their problems. This is dangerous for all of us. 13 lives lost to murder in Waco this year alone. Now police are finally taking action and coming up with a plan. 25 News reporter Andrew Lomparski is live tonight with a look at their new strategy. Andrew? Todd, that's right. Chief Cheryl Victorian is sharing a long list of ways the department is planning on cracking down on gun violence as we head into the summer. From increasing patrol at night to using new technology to track down suspects. Families. I miss them. Now I want them to know that. Friends. Yeah, and you can see where the bullet wound, the bullet hole came in. Neighbors. I guess it's getting hard to protect yourself. All with lives changed since January 1st, as Waco sees a wave of gun violence it hasn't seen in years. Police Chief Cheryl Victorian sharing this message to community members this week. Using a firearm recklessly to scare, injure, or kill to solve a conflict is not the answer, and we will continue to work hard to hold suspects accountable for their actions. Waco PD is sharing its latest strategies to try to stop the trend from continuing. Whether that be directed enforcement in a specific area or it goes all the way to just community events that we do here for the city. From increasing street crime patrol to new gunshot and license plate detection technology, the PD's violent crime strategic response is broken into three pillars, prevention, intervention and apprehension. The biggest target of their efforts, young people. A lot of those individuals, suspect and victims, are fairly young. And so we want to help our youth. We're asking the community to also step up. Police also report 40 other shootings without victims and more than 100 stolen weapons this year. Both police and the city pleading with citizens to work with them to keep Waco streets safe. Local police officers can't do this alone. They need us to stand together and help. Chief Victorian calling for humanity from Waco. Their random acts of carelessness has the potential to kill us or our loved ones. As 13 loved ones have already been lost. Out of 11 murder cases so far this year, seven suspects have been arrested. To view the PD's full plan and report, be sure to visit our website, kxxv.com. Live in Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Also, Waco PD has recovered 280 illegal guns through the first four months of the year. Last year, they seized nearly 440 and just under 300 in 2020. So far this year, Waco police have investigated over 120 stolen gun cases. Law enforcement says to prevent yourself from being a victim of that, you should never keep your gun in your car, especially if the gun is visible or if your car is ever unlocked. You should also keep your weapon in a locked gun safe. Several area PDs have the 9 p.m. routine. Every night at 9, you should lock your doors, turn, in, turn on outside lights, and remove or secure any valuables in your 